guys. I bought quite a lot. To be fair, the majority of it is mine, but I also am going to be showing you what my boyfriend bought and what my mum and my little brother ended up getting as well. Just to show you everything that we like. So because this is going to be long, I'm just going to get right stuck into it. So I'm sure as you're all aware, I went to Summer in the City and while we were down there, we went to London Oxford Street, the big three floored lush. So I'm going to start off with the stuff that I personally bought. And to be honest, I can't even remember half of the stuff I bought. So I'm just going to pick out the first thing and the first thing is oil on troubled water bath melt. Just like the other Lush haul, I'm going to open up and show you guys. So the bath melts are really, really oily, so all of these are quite malleable in your hands, but it looks like this. It's absolutely gorgeous colour blue. It's kind of blue and silvery with purple in it as well. It says it smells like peppermint, but it just smells absolutely amazing. So good, and as you can see, really sticky on your hands. So the next one I have is called Delight, and this is just such a gorgeous gorgeous silver I'll show it to you trying not to get it all over myself they're really sticky so I'll just quickly show that to you because I'm just gonna drop this it smells really kind of citrusy which normally I don't like but it actually says it smells like marzipan which will be why I like it because I quite like the smell of marzipan the next one I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it but it's furzy or furs or I'm not quite sure but it's meant to look like a little cactus like that which is just so cute and it smells like really earthy and really yummy it's meant to smell like gorse bushes but it just it smells kind of chocolatey as well it smells really yummy like i just want to eat it the next one i absolutely love the name of it's just monsieur gustave which just sounds awesome and this one is just this absolutely gorgeous purple and silver color and the reason why i love this so much is it smells like lavender and rose and it also has a bit of tobacco in it which is a bit weird but it smells amazing. It's just so lavendery, and I'm so excited to try this one because I just absolutely love the smell of lavender. The next one, the packet's kind of washed away, but I think it's meant to be called Dream Time. The only ingredient I can read on the packet of this is chamomile, which I also really, really love. Oh, it just smells so good. Like, and it's really cute. It's got this little Z on it, or N but I'm assuming it's meant to be a Z to like send you to sleep. But it just smells so nice and just sleepy and cozy. And I had to buy this one because it was called the Cloak of Invisibility for any Harry Potter fans. That was just, I just had to buy it even if it smelled like rubbish. But I actually really like the smell of it as well. It is jasmine and a uh, rosewood oil. Rosewood oil? Rosewood water, sorry. And it just smells really nice. It's quite a fresh smell. It's quite different from a lot of the other ones I've got. A lot of the other ones kind of smell the same because obviously they smell of what I like. So it's all kind of lavendery kind of scents. But this one's really different. I think that's all the bath oils I bought. So I'm going to go on to the shampoo bars. I'm not quite sure why I bought this one. It's the Honey I Washed My Hair shampoo bar, which I don't think is an exclusive. But when I was in there, it smelled really different. <laughs> Uh, and I don't really like the smell of the honey stuff that Lush do, which is a shame, but I'm sure I'll use it at some point. And it still smells nice, but I'm just not that big of a fan of it. And I don't think it's an exclusive, which is a bit weird for me to have bought it, but I thought it smelled different in the shop. But I also bought this lullaby one, which has lavender in it, so it just smells absolutely amazing. And it's this pink and gold glittery thing, and it just smells really nice. I've probably got gold glitter all over my nose now. I also bought one of the Rose Jam Bubble Runes, which I've never actually used. And when I bought it, it was the Tuesday. And then I found out, I think on the Wednesday, that they just bought it into my local Lush, which I was a bit annoyed by, but to be honest, it smells so good that I don't even care. And look how massive it is. I, I just want to use it like right now. And it smells so good. It just smells of like rose amazingness. I bought three soaps while I was there. One of the regular soaps, which is one of the exclusives, I think. And it's called Green Gold. I would open it, but I would not know how to wrap it as well as that back up. And it smells really nice and fresh. I think it's quite lemony. Yeah, it's got lemongrass, cedar wood, Peruvian rosewood and geranium so it's quite grassy so I wasn't sure if I liked it because it was quite lemony and I'm not really a fan of citrus but I had to buy it it was quite nice and I also bought two of the new cold pressed soaps which I'm not too sure 
what the difference is. So I bought the Gardener, which is really cute. It's got this little watering can on it, which I absolutely love. This just smells absolutely amazing. It's got bergamot and sage in it. And again, it smells a little different from most of the things, but still kind of a lavender type smell. I'm really excited to try this because they're really strange and I'm not too sure about them, but they're quite cool. And I also bought one of the mechanic ones, which again has this really cute kind of spanner thing in it. This one has pumice and I think rosemary. Again, this one smells quite different. It's quite, it smells kind of like blackberries, even though it doesn't have anything like that in it. But it, again, it just smells really yummy. Maybe I'm just hungry. But again, it just smelled and looked so interesting. I just had to try them out. I only actually ended up buying two bath bombs when I thought I would buy a heck of a lot more because I use bath bombs and bubble bars quite a lot. But they just brought up a whole load of the London Oxford Street stuff up to my local Lush. So a lot of the things that I would have bought, I haven't bought because they're in my local Lush. Um, so I probably ended up being a bit more adventurous in the stuff that I've bought because my the things that I really liked are already in my local Lush. Anyway, I'm getting off the track now, but I only ended up buying two bath bombs. So I bought the Golden Slumbers one, which I've actually had before from the Lush event that I went to. So I know what it smelled like, but they've kind of redesigned it a bit into this amazing golden yellow thing and I was really excited that I was able to buy it. And it's got a really strong lavender kind of smell. Again, the paper's kind of washed away on this one, but this is the cyanide pill bath bomb, which is just so cute, just this yellow and white pill shape. It, and again, it smells quite different from a lot of the things I bought. Again, it's more of a fresher smell. I'm not very good at describing smells, so if you want to look up what's in it, I'll leave the link to Lush and everything below. And we're getting down to the last three things that I bought. So I bought two little things of shower gel, which I don't use that often, so that's why I only got two little ones. Um, but it was really difficult to decide. I knew I wanted Lord of Misrule just because it's one of my favourite things when it comes out. Again, this smells really different to a lot of the things that I bought. So it's got black pepper and patchouli and it also has vanilla in it, which is why I like it because I really like the smell of vanilla. But it's really cool and I just love the green colour. And the other one I decided to buy was Wash That Man Right Out Of My Hair, uh, which apparently doesn't have a smell. It doesn't describe the smell. Basically, jasmine, rose, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and it's got fresh guava juice in it as well. That'll be why I like it, because I'm really liking this Rubicon guava juice um, to drink nowadays, which <laughs> will be why I like the smell of this as well, I'm guessing. So this one's really fruity, and again, it's like super different from everything else I've bought. And the last thing I bought was just one of these fun packets, just because they don't really sell them um, in any of my local Lushes, the like make makeup things. Um, so I've definitely had the green one before. I'm not sure if I've had either of the purpley ones, but I just thought the colours were really pretty and it was aliens and monsters. I mean, come on. But I really, really like the fun stuff, so I knew I had to pick up one thing of fun anyway. Okay, now into the things that my boyfriend bought. He bought one of the Experimenter bath bombs, which at first we weren't too sure about the smell. They have these in our local Lush as well, but we weren't too sure about the smell, um, but now we've decided that we really like it. And it looks like this. It is just crazy colours. Uh, when he puts it in his bath, I really want to be there to watch this just explode because it just looks like it'll be amazing. It smells kind of spicy and it smells almost kind of like a campfire. He then also bought two bubble bars. So he bought one of the Karma ones, which is also in our local Lush, but the smell is just so amazing. I absolutely love the Karma smell. I have a solid perfume of the Karma um, and I just love the smell so much. Now, I'm not quite sure of the smell of this one, but I'm so glad that he bought it because it's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And it is the flowering tea bubble bar and now it's just spinning stop stop spinning thank you but it is just the cutest little thing and it's just like this little tea bag and you just like dunk it in your bath and it's just so cute it smells like orange and jasmine which is probably why i don't like it as much because i don't really like the smell of orange and the soap that he ended up buying was sea salted caramel which just smells so yummy again i won't unwrap it just because i can't really wrap it up in the same way um but it smells exactly as you'd imagine it to smell it just smells like like buttered salty popcorn it's amazing 
Oh, so good. Only three things to go, which is what my mum bought and what my little brother ended up getting. I won't show you this one because this is just the same one as I bought earlier. So this is just another one of the Furze Fures bath oil ones. But my mum also bought one of the Flowers Barrel bath oil ones, which is just one of these, which is just super cute. And it smells really nice and flowery, like really light and flowery. I really wish I bought one of these for myself because it smells really good. And my little brother didn't actually end up buying anything in Oxford Street, but he was in town earlier today and this is just completely um, crumbled now. So I'll just show you from the packet. But he was in town earlier today and he wanted to buy a cyanide pill when we were in uh, the Lush Oxford Street. So he asked um, the man in Lush if he had any, um, even though it wasn't exclusive to Lush. Um, and he unfortunately didn't have any, but he did have this broken up lotus flower, which we didn't actually see when we were down in Oxford Street. Otherwise I probably would have bought it. But um, it is just this kind of flower shaped, it's all broken up now. And he ended up getting this for free um, because it was all broken up so they couldn't really sell it. Um, and it was an exclusive to Oxford Street but we just didn't see it at Oxford Street. So it's not actually meant to be in our local Lush. Um, but they just had this broken one at the side out in the stock room. So that was really, really kind of the man to give my little brother that. And that is everything that I bought and I spent far too much money. And I don't regret a single thing because they all smell so good. The only thing I regret is the shampoo bar that smells of honey that I'm not too sure about and not too sure why I bought it. But yes, yeah, sorry for the super, super long haul. Um, if you're not into Lush, this probably was quite boring.